Hello. Okay, people, it's Thursday. Last week, you saw me fit a hydraulic system into under the bench. Now, then, I was thinking, I've got hydraulics in the bench now, and I've made the press hydraulics very nice, but let's do something a little bit more furs. So this is my plan. I've often thought I'm a reasonably tall person, but I built this shed to my height, so all the beams in it are kind of, you know, just above my head. And the amount of people that come in and whack their heads on stuff, it's quite incredible. So I'm thinking, maybe I need to be a little bit taller. So, with this in mind, I think we should make some scissor lift shoes to give myself a little bit more height. So start with, we need a shoe! Right, I have a shoe. And also, I found this look. It's a size 9 hydraulic ram. Beautiful. So what we're going to do, we're going we're gonna to mount that under the shoe and then of course we're getting some bit of, bit of bar we're going to make our scissor lift so it'll sit under there like that there'll be the ram you're going to have to use your imagination here a little bit uh, under there like that and then of course as there's the crossy bit which comes over <laughs> of course when it pulls in pulls the things together up they go now it's a 50 mil ram it's not the uh, not the longest of strokes. <coughs> Giggity. If it's any longer, I'm gonna fit under my shoe. Right then, let's cut some bits, drill some holes, mount some rams, and get shoeing! My shoe base, lovely. That's gonna sit there. Either side of it, I've made these little uh, plates look. So they'll bolt on there. Got some little shims that go through the end of the cylinders like so. So then we'll have a bolt all the way through. And then there will be another one. We'll do that. And then we'll have a, I haven't got another bolt yet that's long enough, so we'll stick that through there. So then we can weld that to the base of the shoe. And then we'll get a load of these and then these will pivot, and then there will be another one of these brackets above it, like this. That's it, that'll sit on top of that one. And then there'll be a, a plate on top of that. And there we are, I've gained four inches just for wearing them. So, let's make a load of these. Oh, Colin, four, four of these. No, I need eight, because I've got to do the other side as well. And then to make some penny things. Excellent. Mm. If you're wondering why I'm building this, I've started some other projects that are nowhere near finished or I'm waiting for stuff. So I thought rather than spend the time on them, I'll start something new.
Oh, yes. Scissor lift shoes. Right, chop the bolt heads down, replace them with lock nuts, very nice. The shoe, I've drilled a hole in it, and then I've stud welded some studs onto some plate, and then I can push that through my hole, just sticks out. So that can go in there, and then because it's stud welded, there's no bolt head on the inside for me to put my heel onto, which wouldn't be very comfortable. So I'm gonna fix that to there, and then I think I'm gonna butcher another pair of shoes to get the sole to put on the bottom, because at the moment I'm walking around on metal plate, which is gonna be rather slippy and a little bit damaging to my floor. And then basically, it's just putting the hydraulic lines in. But I'm not gonna do that till I've finished, because anyone who's worked with a hydraulics will know, you just get oil everywhere. Chop them down, make another one, fix the shoe, put the shoe soles on, and then have a test. You've successfully made the heaviest shoe in the world. telescopic shoes and they do work. They go up and down, look. Yeah. Now I've had to stick a little flow divider on the back so they go up and down at the same rate because on the initial test one went up and then the other one went up which of course is uh, it's not how we want these things to work. Right now of course the big question is kind are they going to work with you stood on them? Oh yes. I mean you know you know you're wearing them, I guess. Right, will they lift me up? <laughs> oh, darling, you've excelled yourself here. <laughs> Cutting goes up, cutting goes down. I mean, walking with, oh my lord. Oh, jeebus. That is, that feels weird. Right, well I've not really got a height issue in the shed. <laughs> Clearly I'm a bit tied to my hydraulic system here. Hmm. Yes. Yeah! I think this could be very useful. Scissor lift shoes, small step ladders everywhere are fearing for their futures. Now, if you want to see more projects like this, you should subscribe somewhere down here. There's a little bell next to it. If you click that when I upload a video, someone will tell you about it. Then you can watch it and you never know what is going to be coming next. But there we are, scissor lift shoes. They're absolutely fantastic. So I'm going to go off and do a bit of scissoring. No. No, that's, something, that, that's not right, is it? I don't think I am going to be doing any of that. Um, I'll, I'll go, I'll make some, I'll make some.